This is uh, the Arctic 25. It's a hypothermia protective suit. It protects from hypothermia for more than 25 hours. Uh, we believe it'll go to 40 or 60 hours. We haven't done that testing yet, but at the end of the 25 hour test, the subject will warm inside. So that's why we think it'll go longer. Uh, it, it, for an abandonment suit, meaning that if the ship is going down or the oil platform explodes and you have to get off and get to safety, uh, you can go through fire for four seconds instead of the two seconds if required. You can jump to the water from 10 meters as opposed to the four and a half meters per the requirements. And you can stay protected for more than 25 hours as opposed to the six hours that's required by the IMO. Uh, so it's really saved lives. I have, I have been a military contractor for the past 30 years, uh, manufacturing all kinds of high, highly complex labor-intense items like chemical protective suits and fragmentation vests, etc., etc. About three years ago, we were approached by these, uh, this uh, person in Argentina uh, who had invented the suit uh, and got the patent for the suit and asked me to get involved in it. It took us about three years to reinvent the suit, make it applicable to the U.S. Coast Guard regulations. And we've just launched in April of this year at the Washington at the Sierra and Space Show. It takes less than one minute. Uh, the first time you put it on, it might take you up to two minutes. But once you've done it once, it takes one minute to put on the suit, jump in the water and be safe. We started selling in June of this year and we started, the first sales came from the commercial fishing industry uh, because they take the decision faster. We're also dealing with the oil and gas industry, but those are bigger companies, longer bureaucratic processes, the same as the military. But there's a lot of interest in this because there's a lot of hypothermia deaths every year. And reality is that the, the neoprene suits that are on the market just don't work. They work up to six hours. And for example, in the Arctic, we're now, because of the polar code, it's mandatory for all the passengers as well as the crew members to have immersion suits. Six hours is not enough for the Arctic. So that's why we feel that the, the people should use an Arctic 25, have up to 25 hours. It opens up the window of opportunity to find somebody alive, uh, to get survivors. So that's the idea.